Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna explain and recap the movie Sweetheart. Buckle up, spoiler ahead and let's begin. Jennifer was washed up to the shore, she screams but there is no one, this is a stranded island. There, she tried to save her injured friend Brad. Jen tries to find some water for Brad, but he dies before she comes back. She wanders deeper into the jungle and discovers a cooler box, a backpack, a few coke, matches and some other belongings. There are a few things that she could use, that night Jennifer sleeps under a big leaf with pouring rain on her head. The next day, Jen discovered the head of a small shark just off the shore, it looked like it had been torn apart by something bigger. She sees Brad's body start to rot, so Jen digs a hole and buries him. Jen sees something floating in the middle of the sea. She swims to it and it was her package, Jennifer dives down to see if there is anything else, but she discovers a hole on the ocean floor. This pit looks deep and gives a chilling feeling. The next day, she's terrified to see that his body was dug up by some animal, it was even torn in half. She thinks it must be some wild animal, Jennifer makes a spear to defend herself. That night, she suddenly saw an airplane in the sky. Despite her attempts to fire flares and scream for help, she failed to get the plane's attention. However, the light from the cannon made Jen notice a shadow standing on the water. Too scared, she quickly picks up her spear and hides inside a tree trunk. She closes her eyes and waits for it to go. She was safe until morning came. The next day, she tries to leave by making a life buoy from her suitcase, but fails. That night she has no other choice but to sleep inside a tree trunk, when the monster comes and it seems to sense her presence. The monster screams and smashes the tree trunk, Jen stays inside and she's shaking. The next morning she saw her camp was destroyed. To observe the monster better, she catches a small shark and hangs it on a tree. She hides in a hole to watch, but she accidentally falls asleep. The shark disappeared. Jennifer discovered the body of Zack, another friend of hers on the shipwreck. Only the top half of him remains. Using Zack's corpse as bait, that night Jen saw the shape of the fierce monster for the first time. It scared her terribly. She tries to keep her composure, but she barely hides her terrifying shock. The next day, Jen makes a hammock and believes that sleeping on a high place will keep her safe. But a few lightning exposes Jen's position to the monster. She holds her spear and tries not to move. The monster attacks the tree and causes her to fall. She tries her best to run but the monster catches up with her. She stabs it with a spear, the monster gets angry and slaps her away. Jen thinks she's gonna die but a lot of lightning saves her, turns out the monster is afraid of the light. She was safe but hurt her knee badly. The next morning, she sees a raft floating on the sea, she swims to it and it turns out to be her boyfriend Lucas and her best friend Mia. Jen tears up in happiness. They come back to the island, drink coke and eat fish. She tells them there is a monster near this island and they should leave immediately. They are both skeptical and don't even seem to mind at all. Jen found Lucas's knife with blood on it. She suspects that Zack was actually killed by Lucas and Mia, but she doesn't have time for this. Jen decides that she will leave on her own with their raft, but when Lucas and Mia see her doing that, they stop her. Three of them argue and Mia slaps Jen in her head with a paddle. Jen wakes up when it's already nighttime, she is worried about the monster, she asks Brad to untie her but he refuses. When she asks Lucas about Zack, suddenly they hear Mia scream. Lucas rushes to Mia with a torch on his hand, he smashes it on the back of the monster. The monster slaps Lucas away and jumps on the sea, dragging Mia with it while Lucas tries to crawl to her. The next morning, Jen asks Lucas to get down from the tree that he's been on all night. They decided to leave the island together on a life raft with all the supplies they had. She turned to look at the grave of the family that once lived on the island one last time before leaving this dangerous place. Jen and Lucas sail at sea on their journey to find their way home. However, just a little way off the shore, they encountered the ferocious monster. It jabbed the raft off balance, Lucas takes the flare gun and shoots it. This makes the monster go away, but the water gradually overflows the life raft, drenching the two of them. They both think the monster has left, but Jen suddenly gets dragged down by the monster. While on the verge of death, she suddenly remembered Lucas's knife. She took out a knife from her pocket and stabbed the monster in the stomach. It hurt and let go of her. However, soon after, it turned to attack Lucas, with no protective gear, Lucas was quickly dragged to the cave with the monster. Jen desperately watched her ill-fated boyfriend go to the dead without being able to do anything. She drifted ashore once more. However, this time, she was alone with no hope at all. Her friends and lovers were all torn apart by that fierce monster. Jennifer did not intend to run away anymore. She decided to face her biggest enemy, the monster. Before the final battle, she wrote all of her experiences on this deserted island in a diary, from the little things to the biggest. She hopes her diary can help someone when unfortunately stranded on this deserted island as she survived from discovering the things of a family that used to live here. Jennifer starts to prepare the weapons to defeat the monster with a lot of sharp sticks. She uses a bone of her deceased friend Brad to make a strong spear. 
She puts a lot of hay in a circle and puts a bunch of fishes in the middle of the circle. That night, when the monster gets in the circle to the fish, she lights up the circle. The monster panics because of the fire, Jen quickly runs at it and stabs it with the bone spear. It slaps her and the spear slips out of her hand. She crawls between its legs and tries to grab the spear again but the monster catches her. It holds Jen's head in its hand, she pulls out her knife and continuously stabs it with the knife making it have to drop her. She smashes the monster in the head with the bone, then she runs back to the shore to take her wood spear. She's ready to fight the monster again, but it staggers and falls down after screaming. She stabs it one more time to make sure. Jennifer walks away as the burning is spreading around the island. And here is when the movie ends. I hope you enjoyed this video, I'm Wonder Woman and I will see you in the next one.